In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the script from my blog and take a SharePoint form that's just vertical and plain and place the fields in that SharePoint form easily into jQuery UI tabs with, with just as little work as possible. Um, the blog, the URL for my blog can be found in the description below this video and let's just jump in and get started. So what you're looking at here is the new form for my issues list in SharePoint. Uh, this is in Office 365, but this script should work just as well on on-premises SharePoint as well. So we're looking at the issues form. It's vertical, it's plain, and we want to get these fields and we want to put them into tabs. So we also have this script. And in this small script, we are referencing a few libraries we need. It's referencing jQuery, jQuery UI, it's also referencing a jQuery UI theme, and this is how you would change the colors of your tabs by using a different theme uh, from the jQuery UI theme builder found on their website. And then we're referencing a, a little script that I wrote called Hillbilly Tabify, which basically uh, is responsible for taking all of those fields and sticking them into the jQuery UI tab. The only thing you really need to do is you're going to have to specify the configuration for your tabs. You need to specify how many tabs you want, the names of those tabs, and how many fields need to be in those tabs. So in this example here, we're looking at three tabs. Uh, I'm adding three tabs. The first one's got the name of Title 1, the second one is Title 2, and the third one is Title 3, and the size parameter for each of those is also set to 3. So this is creating three tabs with three fields in each tab. So we need to take this script, we need to get it into SharePoint and add it to our field. So what we're going to do is come back into our SharePoint site. I am going to go to my Site Assets Library. And I am going to upload the script that we just had there. That was called newissuetabs.js. We're going to upload that. And now we're going to go back to our issues list. And we are going to go to the list tab up here. And we are going to select from the form web parts the default new form. And this is how you edit the default new form for a list. So it opens up that uh, form force in edit mode. We're going to add a web part. It's going to be a media and content content editor web part. And we are going to edit this web part. And we are going to link it to the script that we just uploaded. So that was in site assets. We call that new issue tabs.js. And we're going to apply that. So there you can see there, there's our tabs. If we stop editing now and we click on new item for the issues list, you see that it did create three tabs for us. If we look at those tabs, there are three fields in each tab. And it took the remaining fields and just left them below on the form. So this way you can actually have fields outside of the form too if you want. So let's say you want to add another tab to this and then add three more fields to that tab. That's as easy as editing our script here and saying, well, I want to add another tab, and we'll give it a title of another tab, and let's put just let's just put two fields in that tab so you can see something a little bit different. So we're adding another we're adding another tab. It's going to have the title of another tab, and it's going to have a size, if I could type, it'll have a size of two. So there'll be two fields in that tab. So we can save our script. Go back to our Site Assets Library. Upload our script again. Save that. And now when we go back to our Issues list and select New Item, we see there are four tabs. So we have three fields in the first tab, three in the second, three in the third, and then two fields in that fourth tab. 
So that is all there is to it. You can use this script on multiple forums and change it as you need to. Um, so I hope it helps. Thanks again for stopping by.